Yeah, but I think um, that it, yeah, it would be interesting to look at this from the point of view of the Jews at that time period. And that I think this is where the nationalism, because I mean, of course, I think McCoy assumes the premises of nationalism and assumes that the Jews want to be enfranchised, you know, that it is that it is good for them to be enfranchised. But I think that this book that I'm sharing uh, about the about the history of the Jews in Britain, it makes an interesting point that yeah, the Jews were indifferent on emancipation and now they had nothing to gain. And their concerns were elsewhere, and indeed, some of them even were opposed. Okay, so the rabbi, chief rabbis were not at all enthusiastic. And this interesting point, mainly because they thought that public office would hold the lead, holders to uh lead the holders to neglect his religious duties. And then this comments here that I am firmly resolved not to give up the small religious part of religious form and privilege to obtain civil rights. Okay, then uh da, 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 da. so the, so, yeah, there is this idea that if the Jews were enfranchised, they will be subject to Gentile laws. And why would they want to, why, why would they want that? You know, because, I mean, British parliamentary legislation has always have carved up exceptions to the Jews. You know, like when they pass legislation on marriage or whatever, you know, the Jews will be exempted. Just like the Roman Empire did. Yeah. So, so why do the Jews want to have want to be enfranchised, want these voting rights, and one legislative powers, and then they'll be subject to the same laws as the Gentiles. But this is the problem when you want to this, so this is where it comes into tension with nationalism. The idea of nationalism that everyone collectively should be part of the same nation and presumably subject to the same laws, same customs, and same conventions. But before nationalism, how how they how they tolerated the Jews is that. Okay, we have laws of Christian and the Jews we just have that, you know, like we just tolerate them, we have cover exceptions to them, you know, like so they don't they don't have voting rights, you know, they don't participate in national life, you know, like we just cover a little slice here, you know, if you do your own thing, you know, we, and we don't care about you. So yeah, so this is how before nationalism you can have you can have a Christian nation, you have a Christian king, a Christian parliament, Christian Oxbridge, and so on and so forth. And you can still tolerate minorities, you know, you just let them do their own thing. They don't have to participate in national life. But once you have nationalism, once you say that there is a collective we, everyone uh, has to, uh, is aware and conceive of themselves as this we. But what if this we is not a Christian, like the Jews? They're not, you cannot say, say we Christian America, but I'm not Christian. So how can I say we Christian America? Or, you know, like we Christian Britain, but I'm not Christian. So how can I, how can I say we Christian Britain? Yeah. So traditionally, before nationalism, the Jews don't have to say we. The Jews, there's no don't have to conceive of themselves as part of the nation of Britain or England or Scotland or whatever. They just need to be <clears throat> subject to the king. We obey the king. The king passes laws and passes laws and we have and give us this, the king gives us this certain freedom and we enjoy the liberties the king gives us. And that's it. You know, we don't care about what the rest of the Gentiles do in their own, in their own, in their own things. So yeah, I think, so I think on this, but the Jewish emancipation point, I think, shows the tension between nationalism and, because Wolf, in other parts of, in other parts of books, he, he says that he doesn't want to prosecute Jews or Muslims or whatever. He wants religious tolerance. I mean, he is an American, so of course he wants religious tolerance, but he cannot, but it doesn't seem to me that you can have your this religious tolerance if you have if you have a nationalism, that everyone must be part of it. How can you integrate non-Christians into the into a Christian nation? You no, know, that that is something that I don't think they have really worked out. 